So I was just that giant, and I was pointing out how they are heavily promoting the plant-based meat, Beyond Meat, Impossible Burger, all this crap that has genetically modified soy in it, and a lot of times multiple kinds of soy. It's at Burger King. It's even at Wawa now that I saw it before. Why are they doing this? Why are they heavily promoting this? And I think there's going to be a shortage of meat come the fall, too. I talked about food shortages. They're doing it because the powers to be, and this includes Bill Gates and all these people who have their money in this stuff, they think that we are um, kind of like pests. We're kind of like tying up all these resources. They've been saying, we're overpopulated. It's too crowded. We're using up so many resources. So... In their minds, they need to cull the herd. Depopulation. Nice way for saying uh, killing us, eliminating us. Now it's a lot more subtle methods like soy, which I believe is having a big effect on people's reproductive systems. And one of the reasons why so many people are having fertility issues is because they're eating so much soy. It's in so much stuff. This is why you got to read labels at the store. Soy is in a lot of different things. All right, so that's why that's one of the reasons why they're heavily promoting the vegan agenda. And you're seeing so many people talk about vegan diet and, and documentaries like The Game Changers on Netflix. It's all a ploy. I'm telling you, it's all marketing. And again, if you want to be healthier and eat vegetables and fruits and stuff like that, that's great. Just watch the soy end of the equation. And I don't recommend eating any of that plant, plant-based stuff, dude. For me, I love my meat. I'm a carnivore. I think we were born and designed to eat meat. I think we need to eat vegetables too. I think we're kind of like omnivores. We can eat a lot of different stuff. I thrive and feel great when I eat meat. Testosterone, muscle, all that. What up? So that's the idea with the soy. Now, what about those weird looking robotic things that you see walking up and down the aisles? So stupid. Now, that's another agenda because they're pushing more and more technology on us, of course, and they want to, they want us getting used to the idea of artificial intelligence and robots which are what's coming you know so and it's we play a part in it because we're on the phones all day we're on our computers and our TVs and they just keep giving us the new phone and the new this and the new that so they want us getting used to uh, robots walking around everywhere so that's why you see that in the stores there's much more that I can talk to you about this um I read all about this in David Icke's book, Everything You Need to Know But Have Never Been Told. This woke me up. This was the big red pill for me that I read a couple years ago. I'll just read to you kind of the back part of the book, and you decide if you want to read it for yourself. David Icke has been warning for nearly 30 years of a coming global Orwellian state, Orwellian, George Orwell, 1984, in which a tiny few would enslave humanity through control of finance, government, media, and a military police Gestapo overseeing 24-7 surveillance of a microchipped population. That's 5G. That's the technology they want to introduce. He has said that physical reality is an illusion, and what we think is the world is a holographic simulation or matrix created by a non-human force to entrap human perception in ongoing servitude. This is deep. This book is about 700 pages but it takes you down those rabbit holes and and it connects the dots. This, see, this is why there's so much misinformation. You People don't even know what's real, what to trust, the news. Is it the truth? Is it fake news? You know, social media, podcasts, but this is a book right here, which pieces together everything very, very nicely. This guy's been doing this for 30 years. Um, And it just connects all those dots for you. And then for me, once I started seeing it, like for instance, when I went to the grocery store and I started seeing all these things in real life, I was like, oh, shit, this is very, very real. And it's a tough pill to swallow, but like this is where they're, they're, they're pushing society towards. They're herding us like sheep over the cliff and most people can't see because they're just following the next sheep in front of them. I'm one of those, I'm one of those that steps to the side and gets a different perspective and I'm like, oh shit, this is not going in a good direction. Therefore, I'm talking about it and I'm not scared to talk about it. I'll continue to talk about it because I like you. I'm for the human race. I want to explore this world and what it's all about. All right. Um, 
But in order to do that, we got to be healthy in our mind and in our body. And we got to awaken to the truth. We got to get over all the lies, all the deception, all the bullshit. We got to be able to filter all that, all that out. Read a book like this and you will.